Hey everyone, Pie Nation here, and welcome to another episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we did some things, and those things were we headed off here to Elden Cave. Elden Volcano, sorry, and we landed in from the top of this cave here. Volcano, whatever. I'm not sure where exactly we're at. Anyways, here we are, we're down here in this really dark pit thing. So let's explore this area. Unless this over here. Nothing. Okay. And what's going on? <sighs> Those creeps just shimmered on and and took over our territory. Yeah! What are you doing? Don't be sneaking up on me like that. Huh? You're looking for your friend? Can't help you there. Nobody's come through here, so maybe they went up the mountain from over that way. Uh, wish someone would chase these uh, clowns out of here. We can do that. Um, if you are going to be stupid about this, you probably will die. Um, let's see here. I have one shot, guys. One shot. Now, these guys with the bandanas are going to be the annoying ones because they can call for their friends. But the one that I recommend you stun... Yeah, up there. Ah! You know what? Just go ahead, be stupid, who cares if we die? Come on! So basically what we want to do is just take out these um, guys with the horns first, so ignore these things. Get up here and take him out. Okay, so that should be all of them, right? Right? And there we go! I'm surprised that I didn't die, but I did take quite a bit of damage. Okay. Whoa. You took out every last one of them. Yeah, we did. Because we're that awesome. Yeah. Anyways, you may see that there's a chest there that we can't get it just yet, but we'll be able to get it in a minute. But first, we need to do stuff. Um, I think we just head back and talk to that mold dude. You're one tough customer. Thanks for your help. I don't blame you for not knowing this, but us magmas, mogmas, magmas, mogmas, mogmas. Rupees? Huh? Rupees? Is that really what you're after? I mean, it's his reward and it all, but really, just rupees seems like a waste of reward opportunity to me, and I don't even have any. Oh wait. I know, I got something good instead. So, uh, hey, um, I don't exactly have rupees on me. What? No rupees? But I got something better. Is it more rupees? Didn't you say that you were looking for a friend? Well, yeah, that too. But I want the rupees. Well, I got something that can help you. Reach this... This friend? Take these instead. We get the digging mats! So we can now dig. Yay, we can learn the arts of dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. Anyways, you can immediately go and try it over there. But what we want to do is now that we have digging mats, so you saw that chest over there, we want to try and find a way to get to that. I'm pretty sure I know how. I've never actually got that chest, so I'm not too sure. Okay, sorry about that guys, I'm back. And, um, so what you want to do, you want to come up to this thing here, and you want to dig. Yo! What's up there? Rupees! And, what's this? 
Some Elden Ore, we can use this to basically upgrade our stuff when we can. So you want to collect heaps of this type of stuff. Uh, let's see. Now we want to find a way to get to that chest. Hmm. I knew if we had the Deku Leaf. Oh, okay, well let's head up this way. And let's dig a hole, dig a hole. Whee! Dig a hole, dig a hole. Oh, oh, ah, uh, rubies! So let's click to that. Let's go this way, because why not? And dig a hole, dig a hole. Climb the ladder, climb the ladder. Oh, what is this? Oh boy. So, hey guys, how's your day been? No! Oh, take him up! Yay. Yay. You need that rupee. Anything in here? More rupees. What else? Anything else? No. Come on. There has to be something around here, right? Oh! Stall. I'm not sure if I said this already, but if you sit down anywhere, you can regain health. So, yeah, if you see a seat, use that opportunity if you're low on health. Anyways, let's dig a hole, dig a hole. Oh. Okay, now if I remember right, this one here is to the chest. This one. Okay, let's find it. Oh, first go, guys. Yeah, so I wish you never got that chest. I kind of guessed with that. We got. Oh wow, all that for just some Elden Ore. That is just. That's like the new joy pendant. Oh come on. I was hoping for something a bit more better than that. That was a waste of time. Anyways, let's let's continue. I feel kind of bummed now. Let's go this way. Okay. Dig a hole, dig a hole. Whoa, you scared me silly. You can't just digging right above my head. You know that? But I get where you're coming from. You never know what you're going to find when you dig a hole, dig a hole, so it's impossible to stop. Rupees are just most common treasure. You'll dig up sometime some you you'll dig up, but sometimes you might even score Elden Ore or some hearts. So if you ever run across a hole and you've uh, got some time to dig, dig, dig a hole. Okay, so as you can see, there's like a sort of like a maze thing going on right now. Uh, let's dig a hole, dig a hole. More, a little more. Um, let's see here, let's cut this grass. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Do you want to find a bomb flower? Bombs? And you want to pick it up, pick it up. Mm. Oh, come on. Pick it up, pick it up. Yay! The monkey died. Um, I heard him drop a heart. Oh, well. Oh, as you can see here, there's a crack in the wall. If you hit it with your sword, a lot of Zelda games do this. See, if you come over to this wall here, it makes this kind of sound. But the crack in the wall makes that kind of sound. A lot of Zilla games do that, which I think is really cool. But if you come back over here, grab a bomb. If I can even pull this off right. Boom, boom! Yay! Then we get a... 
got a rupee! It's worth a whopping 100 rupees. You must feel like a celebrity. So yeah, there's a good money grinding thing there. Well, not grinding, but just, I think you can only get it once, so... You can get some money there at least. There you go. There's something. Uh, Damn it. I don't want to grab another bomb. Come on! Ah, oh, well there's some bombs here. Yay! Let's go. <gasps> dig a hole, dig a hole. And let's go up here! Yay! Okay. So now we're back up on the surface. We can now dig a hole. Okay, I'll stop with that. Um, what we want to do is we want to come up here. Whoa! Now there's a green one. One of your people just came charging through the here, dressed in all in black. That friend of yours? Dressed all in black. See that up ahead? That's what we call a drop dead dead end. Okay. But this character dances right over it. Seriously, jumping over a gap like that, my jaw hit the dirt. Okay, that's good for it. What you want to do is you want to grab this bomb and you want to toss it there. Oh! And now we have opened up a shortcut back to where we were. So if we can get there anytime again, see that's where that thing was. And in the previous recording, I spotted a goddess cube. I missed out on. I'm pretty sure it's up here somewhere, is it not? Goddess Cube, you around here? There you are. I thought my eyes weren't deceiving me when I was watching back over my recording. Yay! Okay, so now let's continue on after that little detour. Oh, come on! Go away! Yeah! And we're just gonna run back up here. Get up! And we're gonna dance our way across that bridge because, you know, well, at least let's check it out. Um, okay. That's new. You, the goddess's chosen hero. Zelda is ahead. Hurry. So that must be the girl dressed in black. Anyways, what happens if we stand on? Oh, she must have stood on this. Oh, I see. Okay, well, there's some bombs here in the, what looks like a tipped over building. What's my recording at? 14 minutes. I'll go for a little bit longer, guys. Um, what's up over here? Nothing. Let's activate the statue. And let's go up here. Yay! Keys! Yay, keys. That was easy. Okay, now. My one shot. It all comes down to this. Damn it! <laughs> I was hoping that would be epic. Damn! Oop, shoot. Ah, uh, come on, please give me. Yes, seeds! So that's another reason why you want to be digging a lot too, is just because you might get resources that you need. And just rupees. Not only three. It's not even, I'm not gonna pick those up. What do you think I am, a homeless dude? Yeah, you can actually make them fall down the edge there. But what's even more funny is if you bring out your slingshot and you aim for him holding the boulder. 
It just crushes him. <laughs> I thought that was- OH BOY! Run! That, that was close. Anyways, I thought that was just kind of funny. Damn! Oh no, that one rupee, I wanted that. As you can see, there's a crack here, but we have to find some bombs. And attack! Uh, hang on, let's take out that one dude first. He's gonna be annoying. Oh, I think I know Let's grab this. Chuck it there. Bye bye! There we go. And we made a bridge for ourselves. Anyways, what we want to do is we want to grab this bomb here. We want to... Chuck it at that wall. And rupees, I guess. Yay. So we have now got the max amount of rupees. I reckon why not just go wasted a couple of them? Because you know, why not? So if we blow up this part here, let's head on in. for stopping by. First time here? I am, right? The name's Tibur. Nice to meet you. I ran this little game I like to call Thrill Digger. Ooh. Do you like money? No, I like rupees, though! How about, uh, okay, well, let's just go expert, because, you know, I'm the pro MLG boss. Okay, anyways, I'll explain how this works. It costs 70 rupees. It's a rupee mini game, so you can make money out of it in the long run. I'm gonna do it a couple times to really just waste some money, but also just because I want to show it off. Basically, what happens is in this mini game, you can dig everywhere and you get rupees. If you, let's just say we dig here, we got 20. So let's dig here. Ah, oh, what? That is cheap. Anyways, basically the way the game works is, um, <clears throat> I think the blue rupees, are they worth less? But anyways, the lower the value of the rupee, the closer to a bomb you are, so you want to try and stay away from low uh, rupees. You want to look for the most biggest rupee you can. So let's try that again, let's try it on Expert, because you know mm -hmm. MLG boss, even though I died with them the second turn. Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay, this will be the last time, so I'm starting to run low now. <clears throat> let's try this again. Just scared. Let's go here. Come on! <laughs> oh, I'll cut it to when I actually get a good prize out of this. Oh, we got a rapport. Rapport. Instead of you gaining rupees, you lose 10 rupees from the rupooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
Oh yes, okay, okay. Is there anything you know, ask me? Where are you? Is it too bright for you? Are you floating? No, no, no. No, I'm not floating. I'm standing on my tail. <laughs> I don't need to tell you that my paws are my best figure. I like to give all my customers a chance to admire them. That's why I stand on my tail. It does wonders for sales. Ooh. So what do you want to ask me next? Is it too bright for you? <laughs> you mean my glasses looking deeper? Uh, dapper? Deeper? <laughs> the round frames makes me look even more fashionable. <laughs> And I'm plenty proud of my fine mustache shield, too. Cute and curly. Sure, whatever floats your boat or floats your tail. All the way, I groom it every day. Wait till I didn't. Okay, whatever. I'm bored Ooh. now. I've got full health. Anyways, Ooh. see you guys in the next episode of Legend of Zelda. Not Twilight Princess. Skyward Sword. And we will do things. What if they are, we'll soon find out. And I just want to add those crystals on the wall there. You can actually shoot your slingshot to get rubies. Anyway, see you guys then.